Just as St. Angela Marisi was helped by her companions, the Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph have always relied on the kindness of their friends to support them in their ministries. Mr. and Mrs. Aquila Blanford welcomed the Ursuline Sisters to Western Davis County in 1874, providing them their first meal. Mr. and Mrs. Henry Blamer provided buildings, financial aid, and a 257-acre farm before the turn of the 20th century, and the home the family built continues to serve as the guest house today. The needs may have changed over the years, but the reliance on the time, talent, and treasure of our friends has not waned. Some of the ways donations to the Ursuline Sisters are used include supporting sisters who minister full-time but receive little or no compensation. Some of these include Sister Mimi Ballard, who is helping women learn to support their families and grow in their spirituality at Casa Ursulina in Chian, Chile. Sister Fran Wilhelm and Sister Rosemary Keo, who help Hispanic families in Owensboro and the surrounding area, navigate the often confusing world of government and health care. Sisters who are serving as ministers of presence in often rural areas, visiting the sick and bringing hope to those in nursing homes. Supporting sisters who have given their lives in service to others, especially the children they taught who are now retired at the mother house. Some of them now live in our long-term care facility, St. Joseph Villa. Anyone who has a parent in a nursing home understands the cost involved in their care. Supporting sisters serving in internal ministry at the Mother House, which includes sisters serving in leadership positions, health care, property maintenance, the Mount St. Joseph Conference and Retreat Center, vocation ministry, and the post office and other areas. To continue their mission of proclaiming Jesus through education and Christian formation, the Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph will need the continued support of their friends. The Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph have been here at the Mount since 1874. When our sisters came, they dedicated their lives to working with the poor and to teaching children and over the years, we have taught in elementary schools, high schools, colleges, religious education programs all over the United States. Today, we continue to serve in nine states, Washington, D.C., and in South America. We could never have been able to do all of those good things without your help. So many of you have served with us as volunteers. You continue to support us with your monetary gifts, and we could not do the work that we do without your help. We ask you to continue that help, to be with us, and to pray for us as we pray for you each day. Thank you for your help in the past. We really need your support. Your contributions to the Ursuline Sisters bless you, bless us, and bless all those whom we serve. Thank you for making this journey with us.